It was nearing the end of the seventh pass, and two young men had been selected as candidates for impression. As the crowds gathered at the hatching grounds, the candidates prepared themselves for the ceremony to begin. The two could not have been more different. The elder, Roth, driven by ambition and family expectancy, eagerly awaited the arrival of the dragon that was to merge thought and consciousness, to become one with him. The other, Dalcor, was filled with fear. He had heard the tales about the dangers these ceremonies held. And when the egg cracked, the fledgling dragon began to make his way out of its shell. Roth stepped closer, pushing Dalcor aside, ignoring all sense of occasion and respect. The crowd stood on in awe and waited for the beautiful creature to break into the Pern air and select its rider for the first and only time. Roth leaned forward, waiting for the dragon to reach out and touch his mind. But the dragon pushed past him, knocking him to the ground and advanced over to the terrified Dalcor. The young boy stared back, petrified, as the awesome beast studied his face. Then deep within his mind he heard a voice calling him soft and comforting. Greetings to Kor, I am Zenth. The dragon spoke using Dalcor's new dragon name. Zenth had chosen him. They were now as one, their thoughts intertwined forever. Decor had become a dragon rider. Roth stared on, bewilderment and confusion plain on his face. How could such a mighty animal possibly not select him? All his expectations were suddenly shattered as he pulled himself off the rocky floor. As Decor bonded with his new soulmate, Roth looked up to see his father turn his back, devastated by his son's failure, abandoning him to wallow in his own dishonor. Roth cried out to his father, but his cries fell on deaf ears. They had gone. Disgraced by his family, Roth was sent to Healer Hall in a bid to salvage his career, whilst the timid Decor grew strong and followed his destiny to the skies, with Zenth at his side forever. Good morning, Nicole. Bad dream? Too much wine is all. A new shipment from Benden arrived last night. I know. Everyone had a good time, though. Just as Nalaya would have wanted. She, she was, was a good woman. She'll be missed around here. None will miss her more than Marath. She is desolate and risks leaving her clutch. A gold never leaves her clutch with or without their werewoman. There is always a first time. Then we must find a new werewoman for the golden egg in the hatching ground. I'm sure Sabor realizes the situation. He does. My eye itches to call. You always itch. Your hide and your belly are all you think about. My hide needs oiling. The oil is on the shelves, unless you knocked it off in a stupor last night. The brush should be nearby.
Would you like me to tell you how to use items in your inventory? I think with my clouded head that would be useful. Open your inventory by pressing the inventory button. Now select the oil. Your inventory will close when you do, and the item will appear in your pocket on the main screen. Whichever item is in the large circle on the right is the item you will use when you press the Use button. Walk over to me. Make sure that the item is in your pocket and then press the Use button. Now follow the same procedure with the brush. Thanks to Kor. Yugoth has told me that Sabor wants to meet with you and the rest of the wing later in the day. Regarding a new werewoman, no doubt. A search is required. No suitable candidates are here in the weir. We must go to the holes. I'm not sure the other riders will like that too much. They think hold stock is inferior. Nonsense. It is what is on the inside that is important to us. Not where they come from. Don't let the old men's dragons hear you say that. You know that rigid tradition is all that drives them. The Red Star has almost passed. Soon traditions will have no meaning. Perhaps. It has been known that the Hold Lords will begin to question our purpose on Pern. We shall have to wait and see. <laughs> 